Friends and colleagues, welcome to this historic announcement. Uh, we have many members here from the charter school, the, the charter class. We have members of the charter faculty. Um, this feels a little like commencement, so it's my honor to introduce the platform party. Uh, in the audience, uh, we have members of the Morsani family, their daughters Leanne Morsani Rowe and her husband Mike Rowe, and Suzanne Morsani Anderson and husband Larry Anderson. Yay! Yay. And then sitting with the fam family are USF Senior Vice Presidents, Karen Holbrook, Ralph Wilcox, John Long. Welcome to all of you. We have elected officials, Ken Suarez and Lisa Mont Monteleone of Tampa City Council, um, and Julie Fitzpatrick representing Congresswoman Kathy Castor, uh, and many friends from our partners uh, all around the Tampa Bay area. I'm going to briefly introduce the platform party because this is a formal announcement and we have people representing all parts of the College of Medicine and USF Health. And I'll start with the most important. Tina Fiorelli represents the Graduate Student Council, the doctoral and master's students of the College of Medicine. Yes. We have Carla Pippins representing the School of Physical Therapy students. We have Joshua Rowe, who is the head of the Medical Student Council. We have two medical students who are special guests and will be part of the program, Kara Sullivan and Joshua Robertson. We then have the deans of the colleges and schools of, the, of USF Health, Michael Barber, the Associate Dean and Director of the School of Biomedical Sciences. Kevin Sneed, the Dean of the New College of Pharmacy. <laughs> Diane Morrison Beatty, Dean of the College of Nursing. <laughs> Donna Peterson, Dean of the College of Public Health. <laughs> Sandy Quillen, Associate Dean and Director of the School of Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation <laughs> Sciences. And Alicia Monroe, Vice Dean for Education of the College of Medicine. <laughs> Representing the faculty of the College of Medicine, we have the President of the Faculty Council, Dr. Carl Muffley. <laughs> Among our speakers and guests, Gordon Gillette, the Chair of the USF Foundation Board. John Ramil, the Chair of the Board of Trustees of the University of South Florida. And the following will be speaking. Stephen Clasco, Senior Vice President for USF Health and Dean of the College of Medicine. Joel Momberg, Senior Vice President for Development and USF Foundation, CEO of the USF Foundation. And at this point, it is my great pleasure to turn over the program to the person who will introduce our very special guests, the President of the University of South Florida, Dr. Judy Genshaft. Thank you. Thank you. This indeed is an historic moment, and I want to welcome everybody here on this beautiful University of South Florida Day. This is history for this college, and it is history for USF Health and it is history for the whole University of South Florida. And this is history for our entire community and the nation. This morning, the University of South Florida Board of Trustees endorsed this great moment, and I want to recognize members of the board who are here with us today. You've all met our chair, John Ramil. We also have, and all, would all the board members please stand, we have Trustee Byron Shin, Trustee Rhea Law, Trustee Brian Lamb, Trustee Liz Bird, Trustee Matt Diaz, Trustee Stephanie Goforth, Trustee Lou Seiko, Trustee Jean Engel, and Trustee G uh, Steve Mitchell. Thank you all. 
And this leads me to the great, our great announcement. Today, with our board, we have named USF Health the Morsani College of Medicine of the University of South Florida. We named the Morsani College of Medicine to honor two of our greatest friends, Carol and Frank Morsani. And we've made this historic naming because of their deep commitment to USF and we made this because of our great appreciation for them. Quite simply, they believe in the spirit of innovation and transformation that is this college and USF Health and all that it embodies. They have been our most passionate advocates and they believe in the future of health and they have invested in us because of that belief. The Morsanis are now the largest donors to the University of South Florida, $43 million. Thank you, thank you. Of that total, they've given $37 million to USF Health, including the Morsani Center for Advanced Healthcare. And today, they are announcing a $20 million gift to build a new education center for the College of Medicine. This is historic, and this puts the University of South Florida on the national map. It pushes ahead the ideas of Steve Clasco, who is champion change as Dean and Senior Vice President for USF Health. And it's my pleasure to share with you a letter that we received for the Morsanis from Dr. Daryl Kirsch, who is President and CEO of the major national body in charge of, a, of medical education. And he writes, on behalf of the Association of American Medical Colleges, entire academic community, thank you for your tremendous generosity to the University of South Florida. Your most recent gift not only will create a new state-of-the-art in learning environment at USF Health, it also demonstrates your continued commitment to improving the health of individuals in the Tampa Bay region and beyond. Dr. Stephen Clasco is one of our nation's most innovative medical education leaders who has created a dynamic and forward-thinking institution prepared to educate tomorrow's physician to best serve their patients and communities. Philanthropists like you are the ones who make academic medical centers the vital heartbeat of transforming healthcare. This exceptional gift serves as a shining example of the power of ph philanthropy to positively affect healthcare in our nation. Lastly, this historic announcement is very, very, very special because I can't think of anything better than to put the Morsani seal of approval on the University of South Florida. So with that, Carol and Frank Morsani, please come up and allow us to thank you. Morsani College of Medicine, USF Health Water. <laughs> so Pure you need water. <laughs> water. This is good. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, we want to thank you very much. Uh, this is an honor. Uh, I think I'm able to handle this now better than I was an hour ago, but uh, something about it. Uh, it is a great honor. It's a great university. And I, 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 I joke with the president. Uh, various elements around here keep saying that uh, uh, they, they, they write mission statements. 
Oh, I hate those things. But I got a new, <laughs> but I got a new mission statement that I think all of you will embrace uh, for the USF. It's lead, follow, or get out of the way. And if you don't believe it, just hang around a little while. As I also said in my earlier remarks, that the, uh, uh, there are some people on campus that look at things, and, and, uh, and actually the, the state and the country looks at things, and they say, is that a light at the end of the tunnel or a train coming through the tunnel? And I think we have PM people here that think that's a train coming through the tunnel, and that's a positive. Uh, and as I said, the, the big thing that we hope that this gift will, in, in, it will do three things. Uh, educate, create, and inspire. I hope it will educate the great minds that are all out here in all their white coats, and it's wonderful to see the, the, uh, the medical school students here and the faculty and be associated. And then, I hope it will create the research that will take this university to a, a, another higher level. Uh, when I see my friend Paul Sandberg and others who are involved in research and Les, Smith, Les Miller, I just think, and if I miss somebody, I apologize. There's only 15,000 of you, so I won't get you all. But anyway, it's, it's, it's that kind of an honor. But then, inspire. I hope that what, we're, what we try to do is we've given to or organizations throughout this great community is that we inspire others to share in your treasury to make this the finest university in the state and in one of the finest in the country. We can, we will, and we're going to do it. And, and as we say, Good and good enough is not good enough on this campus. Excell excellence is the hallmark. Thank you very much. It's our pleasure to be with you today. <clears throat> oh, great. My job is to follow that. As CEO of the foundation, I am so blessed to be able to work with two just incredible, incredible human beings and philanthropists, Carol and Frank Morsani. Um, you know, we, we're so thankful here at USF. We have both donors and philanthropists. There's a little bit of difference. Philanthropists, of course, are donors. But philanthropists also invest in the future of the university. And not only do they invest, they study, they research, and they're involved from the time that they are thinking about their gift through the time that they give the gift and beyond. And there's no better example of that than Frank and Carol. They took their time in this particular gift. They always do. They're very thoughtful in what they give. And we are so thankful to them, uh, as we are to all of our donors. Frank, this is Frank and Carol's day, and we just couldn't be more pleased. By the way, uh, you've, you've met Gordon Gillette from our board. Could the other board members, I saw a few of you, but the foundation board, could you rise? Thank you for being here, too. One other thing I want to say about Frank is not only is he willing to give, as is Carol, but uh, they also get. They not only give, but they get. As, uh, as board members and philanthropists, they raise money, too. And I, I know Les Muma would be the first one to say when they started the capital campaign, and. Les uh, grabbed his partner, Frank, and said, let's go out and, and raise some money. Frank was the first one to say, let's do it. And with this gift, he's not sitting back on his laurels. He made his commitment. He said, Joe, let's raise some more money for the, uh, for the medical school. So he's, he's there. He's there for us, and, and it couldn't be better. Uh, the inspiration for the gift, if you heard, you've heard before and, and you'll hear again, is uh, Dr. Stephen Clasco. Uh, throughout this entire time, Frank and Carol have talked so much about the inspiration of Steve and Clasco because Steve's innovation, his transforming health attitude and, and, and positive go forward, unstoppable as our campaign slogan is, was uh, truly the inspiration and, and one of the main reasons for this gift. 
And the Glasgow Institute, which you'll hear a little bit about that Steve's going to talk about, is a major part of, uh, of the, the College of Medicine, and it's something that was very special to Carol and Frank. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Dr. Stephen Clasco. Thanks for standing up, Jill. I appreciate that. Um, you know, um, I was going to start off when it was 39 degrees this morning. I was going to say if somebody six years ago when I got here said that we'd be naming this medical school and have $37 million and a few hundred people in the courtyard, they would have said it's going to be a cold day in Florida. And I had that all set when it was 39 degrees. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work as well. The other thing, Carol and Frank, is that um, um, whatever other accolades you get, I can tell you that this is the largest gathering of medical students that didn't involve food in the history of the medical school. Could you guys all raise your hands, our, our stu medical and nursing and graduate students? Thank you. That's what it's all about. You know, there's, um, there's a few times in, if you're lucky, there's a couple times in your life where someone outside uh, your immediate family really changes the course of your life and, and the things that you do. Um, I have been incredibly fortunate uh, to be one of those people uh, that has had that inspiration with Carol and Frank. Uh, in 2004, when I got here, and I'm sure you remember this, we had our first dinner at uh, Bonefish Grill, and we said, um, I said, Frank, I, I look at what's out here in Tampa Bay, and I look at what President Genshaft is doing with USF. There's no reason we shouldn't be leading the country in health education. And Frank, you had a comment that I won't repeat about what ought to happen to some of the people that really don't want things to move forward. But as often happens, uh, while that got my attention, Carol really, uh, uh, Carol really said something that's really stuck with me, and it's really what's gotten us here today. It's, she said, do the right thing, let people think what they want, and it'll all work out. And Carol, we've really tried to do that at USF Health. And, and as with most things, the Morsanis don't just give advice, they make things happen. The number one thing that I am proud of is that an academic medical center should raise the bar for health and care in a community. And when the Mar Marsani said that's what we want to do, and we built the Marsani Center for Advanced Health Care, it's not just a great place to receive care. Many of you have, have, have received care there. It's when we started to say we can guarantee same-day results in mammograms because that's the right thing to do, and everybody told us we were nuts. Now, if you go down 275, you'll see everybody saying guaranteed same-day results. We raise the bar for care in the community. Now, in a much larger way, the Marsanis are ready to transform the healthcare landscape in Florida with $37 million. But more importantly than the money, and the money is important, but more important than the money is the name. Most of you know Carol and Frank. That's not what it's about to them. But Carol and Frank Marsani and their family, thank you so much for being here, embody the values that make Tampa Bay and indeed this country great. They've understood the importance of family, friends, integrity, and entrepreneurship. And we could not be more proud, because I want everybody to understand the gravity of this. We could not be more proud that every graduate in the College of Medicine will bear the Marsani name on their diploma from this moment on. And having two people that I respect as much as I do you in the world invest in the future of USF Health is both humbling and, and incredibly exciting. So what about the vision of this new building and this new Morsani College of Medicine? Well, our vision for the Morsani College of Medicine could not be more clear or dramatic. We intend to be the leaders of a revolution that will transform the future of healthcare education and healthcare delivery, not by changing the existing reality, but by making new models that make the old models obsolete. That's what we need and that's what we're gonna do. And I want to acknowledge a group here that we haven't acknowledged yet because they're really the lifeblood of this college and, uh, and this university. And that could, could the members of our faculty either raise their hand or, or stand up? Thank you so much for everything you do. Because I know as smart as you guys in the white coats think you are, you come to us as raw, really good raw material, but raw material. 
And four years later, you're accomplished physicians uh, that are empathetic, fantastic scientists and researchers, and that's due to our great faculty. So I just want to spend a few minutes about uh, when you go home and you say, wow, something great happened today. Um, there's a lot of great things that happened today. This building that you're going to see is going to be a, a new, new way of looking at educating health students. We're going to think team. You notice my fellow deans on the platform, that's not just because they look better than I am, which happens to also be true. It's because everything we do in USF Health is together. So we will have patients, pharmacists, physical therapists, nurses, public health professionals, and doctors all learning together. We are a health team at University of South Florida. We will think community because that's what it's all about. And we will be providing free care in which patients will learn from students, residents, and faculty. Faculty, residents, and students will learn from patients. We'll make sure that the doctors that we produce are the most empathetic as well as the most talented physicians in the country. And while we're thinking community and we're thinking broad, we're going to think personalized. And personalized health to us means everything from molecular genetics. You're going to be hearing over the next six months about a fantastic personalized medicine and heart institute where literally folks are treated for heart wellness and heart disease based on their molecular genetics as opposed to hundreds of people that look like them. But for us, it also means a brand new concierge service where every person that comes into USF Health will be treated like a VIP. We're going to think timing. You know, so much of healthcare economics is starting to incentivize people to do the right procedure for the right patient at the right time. And we're going to be thinking about both the economic and the delivery parts of that. And then finally, uh, we're going we're gonna to think creativity, because I love that stuff. And you know, uh, if, if you think that what we thought about was innovative before, you haven't seen anything. And whether you think we're innovative, visionary, or crazy, uh, those are the things that we need to look at in healthcare, because really we need very, very, very different ways of making sure that people stay healthy in Florida and beyond. So Frank um, and Carol, 20? 30, even 50 years from now, just think about this for a second. The people that are providing care in Florida, because we provide more doctors in Florida than anybody else, will have on their diploma a Morsani College of Medicine on their diploma. And 50 years from now, um, I hope we're in the same place, because uh, I know where you're going. Um, uh, <laughs> 50 years from now, if there, if there is the equivalent of a, uh, of a vodka martini, I hope that we can say, uh, have a toast and say, boy, uh, we done good back in 2011. Uh, I want to introduce uh, two students because it is what it is all about. And, uh, and we're not 50 years from now. It's really starting today. And our hard work starts today. And I want to introduce two uh, med students who have uh, asked to give uh, the Marsanis a student proclamation. Could Josh Robertson and Kara Sullivan please stand up? Uh, as Dean Clasco said, my name is Josh Robertson. I'm a third year medical student here in the College of Medicine. And along with Kara Sullivan, another third year medical student, we would like to present uh, the Morsanis with this proclamation um, declaring that from this day forward the USF College of Medicine will be known as the Morsani College of Medicine. Uh, this is the first document bearing that name and has the seal of the Morsani College of Medicine on it. Thank you. Uh, I remember when uh, I met the Morsanis. Uh, when you go into a meeting like that, uh, first off, they don't tell you who you're meeting with. <laughs> and then, uh, like, right before you go in, they tell you who you're meeting with. And you're like, you mean, like, the building people? And they say, yes. And you go, wow, and I'm nervous. And um, you, you have a concept in your mind of who this person is going to be. And when you meet them, you are blown away by what you see by what you interact with. I came to the University of South Florida for my medical education because uh, this is a student-centered campus. It's in our DNA here. It's who we are. 
And uh, it's no chance that the Morsanis are a part of that. They are student-centered people. They are people that care for students. It's rare in life to meet people who uh, walk in the circles that they do, who have the impact upon our community, upon our state that they do, and who care so much for people like me, uh, who don't seem all that important. Um, when we think about what this donation means to our college, to our community, uh, it's overwhelming to think about that. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a very spiritual person. I, I believe very deeply in my faith. And there's a line in my book of faith that says, talks about rivers of living water and what that means. And I love that phrase because it's um, thinking about tributaries and streams and creeks and how far they reach. And similar to what Dean Classical was saying just a moment ago about can you think about the impact of what this means. Um, this is a game changer. This is going to impact the poor of our community. It's going to impact people who've never had good access to health care so they can get it. It's going to impact the way that medical students approach their patients so that when we look at our patients, we appreciate who they are. And we impact them for the rest of their lives. We change the trajectory of what they can expect in their healthcare experience. So thank you for what you've done. And I look forward to see where it's going to take us. Um, my name is Kara Sullivan. I'm a third year medical student, as well as the new Morsani College of Medicine. Um, this is a very exciting day. It's kind of actually a surreal day. Um, so much like the meeting that I had with uh, Mr. Morsani earlier a few months ago, and I went into that meeting very excited, and I left feeling just incredibly encouraged and still even more excited. Um, he, he is so personable and such an amazing man, and I had the pleasure of meeting his wife as well today, and it's, I feel the same way. Um, but he just is so interested in hearing what students have to say and ensuring that everything that we do from this point forward is going to involve that, but then also really interested in what our community has to say. Um, and his excitement is just inspiring, it's contagious. And so for me today, what this gift means to our school is not only something financial and wonderful, but it ensures that our philosophies and the reason why I came to USF is this, much the same as why Josh did, but that these two philosophies are merged and that it's gonna propel us forward with this incredible momentum for years to come. Um, and, and just this commitment to our community as well, something that has been so important to me for the last three years as a medical student here and something that is just so reassuring to hear that it's just such a, a, a crucial point to what everything means from this point forward. Um, so it's with great pride that when I have that diploma on my wall in a few years to come and people ask, what does that name Warsani mean? I will just instantly light up and be reminded by the inspiration of uh, the Morsani family and just be really excited to explain what that is all about. Um, so I thank you again for letting me be part of this special day and for everything that this means for our school. Thank you. So um, Carol and Frank, again, on a personal level, on behalf of my wife, Colleen, and my two daughters that are here, Joe and Lynn, and my son, David, who's watching this on the webinar, thank you for being such a great friend to us. Thank you for being such a great inspiration to our students and to the university. And for all of you out there, if you doubt this president and this board's commitment to leading the nation in breaking the cycle of non-innovative health care, please don't do that anymore. Because we are moving forward. On January 17th, the president of the American Association of Medical Colleges will be here because he wants to see what the heck is happening in Tampa Bay. So thank you all for that great support. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and with that, our historic announcement is over. Thank you for coming. <laughs>